What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial I want to show you how to insert or how to add a notation to geospatial data or rather a uh, shape file in uh, Civil 3 d based on attributes. So if I open up this folder, uh, it contains the shape file that we're going to import inside uh, Civil 3 d So before we, we uh, explore the data uh, in Civil 3 d let's have a look at uh, the attributes uh, in ArcGIS. So we're going to open up uh, ArcGIS and then have a look at the attribute uh, tables to, so that we can uh, we can understand the uh, data uh, better. So I'm going to add up this uh, data. Uh, it's contained in it's contained in uh, desktop. So this is the data. Uh, there are actually some parcels. And then, so if you open up the attribute table, you can see we have uh, four columns. Uh, field ID, shape, then ID, then you have name. So when we, we import this into uh, Civil 3D, we want to display uh, uh, this uh, name on each and every uh, parcels so now that uh, we are done we can close that and then uh, open up a civil 3d application so this works for all versions of uh, civil 3d whether you are whether you're using autocad uh, or any version of Civil 3D may so now uh, Civil 3D is uh, up and running we need to uh, add uh, the shape file so in order to add shape file into uh, Civil 3D all you need to do is to type in a command uh, and the command that you normally use is called map import just type map import and then click enter and then you're going to navigate to the location where you have your data. Uh, mine is, is in desktop. So it's going to open up this dialog window. And then there are two most important steps that you're going to do. First of all, you're going to declare the data and then make sure that you check this uh, box here. So let's first of all declare the attributes. Uh, on this date, uh, data column, click on on this, and then go to uh, click on the create object data. Select that uh, radio button, and then click OK. Uh, so as I said earlier, we need to check this. Make sure that. The import polygon has closed polylines is checked and then click OK. Now you need to uh, type in ZE for zoom extent or for AutoCAD just type Z enter is enter. So now you can see that we have uh, all the parcels. Uh, so if I click this, any of these uh, parcels and then uh, go to properties you can see at the bottom here on the parcel block uh, we have all the fields it displays all the fields that are that are available or, or, or it displays the attributes of this particular uh, parcel so you can see this name we have also field id and id we want to it's not actually prudent to always uh, click on each and every parcel so that you can uh, check out uh, the attributes uh, so in order to uh, solve that we are we want to now to display uh, uh, this attribute inside uh, each and every parcel so to do that uh, we are going to do we are going to switch the uh, workspace so this is the workspace here we are going to switch to planning and analysis and if you cannot see uh, this uh, button here this working space switch 
go to customization at the most at the uh, bottom bottom right corner uh, you see this customization click on it and then uh, look for uh, workspace switching click on it it disappears it's back so click on that and then uh, we are now on civil 3d switch to uh, from whichever uh, workspace that you are in and go to planning and analysis and it's going to open up this uh, window go to annotate tab and then we are going to define a template so under annotate and then uh, under a map annotation group select define template since we, we don't have any existing template we're going to create a new one and we're going to give it a name say for example we're going to say uh, parcel labels just give it any other name uh, it's necessarily to label as i've done here and then click ok so from this point uh, uh there is a a command that we're going to use since you, you cannot be able to locate any of the buttons to use here so the command that we want to use is called map and text for map annotation so map and text uh, you need to type it correctly i i hope we're able to see uh, the spelling on my screen and then hit enter and then uh, hit enter again so you hit enter twice uh, so let's do that again just type uh, map uh, map and text and hit enter hit enter again so uh, here it's going to open up this annotation text dialog uh, here again you give uh, that a name this time round labels give it any other name that uh, comes that you are uh, comfortable with and then we are going to define under this value uh, uh, under this value uh, tab or uh, box we are going now to define uh, we are going to define the field that we're going to use to label the uh, the parcels so select click on this on this icon here and go to object uh, and then uh, parcel block and then select the field which we saw that its name name contains the uh, parcel numbers of each and every parcel and click ok so you can also change uh, make uh, changes here according to how you see fit text height i'm going to select five and then uh, justification i'll go with middle and click ok so if you look at the uh, command line it's telling you to specify the middle point of the text i'm going to specify zero uh, comma zero zero comma zero and then click enter and then uh, so here we need to display the text uh, z e for zoom extent again and click enter you can see now uh, the template of the, how the uh, the labels are going to appear so from this point we can now close down the block editor uh, so make sure that to select save the changes and then uh, at this point you need to do some extra uh, settings so for insertion point i'm going to select centroid uh, i think that's that's all for this and then everything looks fine but you can go around and change things according to how you want them to appear so i'm click i'm going to click ok now uh now we need to insert uh the the labels we need to insert whatever that we've done uh, so again go to annotate tab under map annotation group select insert and uh, we need to select the uh, template that we have you might have several of them say like three or four select the one that you want 
and then uh, insertion point I'm going to leave insertion point as central everything else looks fine and then I'm going to click insert so if you look at the command uh, the, this command tab is telling you to select uh, the object so I'm going to select everything all the parcels and then left click and right click and it's going to insert all uh, the parcels all the parcel numbers so from this point you can now uh, you can you can update you can let me first of all change uh, the uh, text for let me go back to civil 3d this text looks funny so I need to change the font family and to do that I'm going to annotate and then open the dialog box launcher under the text and I'm going to change the font name to Times New Roman click apply and close now this looks better let's go back to uh, planning and analysis let's say you want to you want to make uh, some changes for example you, you you want to change the parcel number of this particular uh, property in order to do that just select the text and uh, right click and open properties scroll to the uh, bottom of this uh, properties dialog window and you can now from this point you can change that let's say you want to make it 5000 and click enter for some reason you can see that in civil 3d is direct so it 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 it, it, it updates automatically but uh, for some for some cases uh, or other versions of uh, autocad you need to go uh, you need to go to annotate and uh, and then go to this icon here update annotation you click on it and select the template and click ok and it will uh, and it will update uh, whatever changes that you have made on your drawing so let me just go back to uh, civo 3d so that's it for this tutorial i hope uh, you are now able to to add annotations or labels on uh, uh, shape files in civil 3d so see you in the next tutorial